Are you willing to make a bargain with a whimsical fae? Find out if the 2024 Player's Handbook Archfey Patron Warlock holds up. I'm the Mind Flayer Slayer. And I'm Dr. DM. And we are bringing you Green and Garb's first look at the 2024 Player's Handbook. Today, we have the Archfey Patron, which has a lot of unique abilities and change abilities from 2014. We're gonna go over the 2024 abilities right now. So, starting at level three, we get the Archfey spells. And this is an expanded spell list. Unlike in the past for the Warlock specifically, this expanded spell list doesn't just allow you to choose from an expanded list of spells. All of these spells I'm about to read to you are now known and prepared for you at all times. So at third level, you're gonna be getting Calm Emotions, Fairy Fire, Misty Step, Phantasmal Force, Sleep. At fifth level, Blink and Plant Growth. At seventh level, Dominate Beast and Greater Invisibility. And at ninth, Dominate Person and Seeming. It's a pretty good list for controlling the battlefield Absolutely. and utility. At level three, you also get Steps of the Fey, your first kind of like key ability, let's say. Mm -hmm. So with this, you can cast Misty Step without expending a spell slot. With, what? Yeah, which is amazing. We'll get to why in just a second. And you can use that a number of times equal to your charisma modifier, not proficiency bonus, but charisma modifier. So it's going to actually get pretty high Absolutely. Uh, as well. So, and you get those back in long rest. What does this wording mean without expending a spell slot? Well, with the new D&D &D 2024 rules, right, you can only cast one spell per turn that uses a spell slot. So this means you can actually cast Misty Step as your bonus action, mm -hmm. and then cast a fully leveled spell as your main spell action. That's incredible, and right? And still, if you have- I And mean, not, a, not just a cantrip. Yeah, but you if, you ha if you're like a sorcerer, for example, mm -hmm. you could then have a quickened action on top That's of that. That's true, and we'll get so. to that. Okay, so, but you get other benefits too with the Misty Step with this Archfey ability. Starting uh, with Refreshing Step. Mm -hmm. Immediately after you teleport with your Misty Step ability, you or one creature can see, you can see within 10 feet of yourself gains 1d10 temporary hit points. That's a pretty good refreshing step. I mean, mm -hmm. temporary hit points, of course, don't stack. Correct. Uh, but at early levels, having a buffer of maybe up to like half your hit points, every single time you miss a step, not too bad. And your, or one of your allies can have it too. So someone's almost down, right? Yeah. Uh, and don't have a cleric or whatever. Well, there you go. Gives you that little bit of refresh. Right. Taunting step is another build you can do in lieu of refreshing step, right? So creatures within five feet of the space you left from your misty step must succeed at a wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC, or they have disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you. So you know what's really awesome about this? Like yep. really awesome? You can misty step away, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody that was next to you, then of course they do not get attack of opportunity on you, right? Correct. And you misty step, and then you run 30 more feet, right? You're 60 feet away, and now if they can't reach you and they just attack somebody else nearby, disadvantage, disadvantage, disadvantage. Isn't that pretty awesome? Yes, it is. So that's a very good buff, so. Let's talk and about level six. At level six, yes, you get the Misty Escape. So now you can cast your Misty Step as a reaction <laughs> in good. response to taking damage. That is absolutely absurd. Yeah, so and they have all those effects, but you get more effects, right? When you do that as a reaction, you get disappearing step. So you then have the invisible condition till the start of your next turn or until immediately after you make an attack roll to deal damage or cast a spell. So wait a minute, are you telling me that I get to Misty Step and then turn invisible? <laughs> Which then you get advantage, right? Or people attack you, disadvantage again. So they, yeah. This is busted. It is very good. I think they're actually making Archfey. I think this is a huge buff because Archfey before was kind of like, ha ha, I'm a trickster warlock, it but was, now. It was flavorful, but it was not mechanically compelling. And now it's mechanically strong. Absolutely. So let's talk about Dreadful Step. Dreadful Step. Creatures within five feet of the space you left or the space you appear in, your choice, must succeed on a wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC or take 2d10 psychic damage. Right. I love this. And so Archfey, of course, is the master of psychic damage, right? Absolutely. And spells that are mind altering. So this is a good way to get in a little bit of extra damage. 2d10 is not inconsequential, yeah. right? So I think that's another good way to use your level six Misty Escape ability with a reaction. At All right. Level 10, you're going to be getting beguiling defenses. You want to jump in on sure, that? Sure, of course. So you're immune to the charm condition with this, just straight up, right? Which is really good. Incredible. The charm condition is one of the most devastating ones, especially if it hits one of your better players, right? And so you don't want them not being on your team. So this is one of it's your a good tanks, one to have. Yeah, for example. Exactly. And not only do you have already a lot of charisma as a warlock innately, but now you're going to be immune to that. So, so in addition to that, Immediately after a creature you can see hits you with an attack roll, you can take a reaction to reduce your damage uh, that you take by half, and then you can force the attacker to make a wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC, and if they fail, it takes second damage equal to the damage you take. 
So you can only use it once for a long rest, right? But if you get hit with a big attack, right? You're going to be deflecting it all back to yep. the person attacking you. And I will say some of the other subclasses have similar features to this, but I think it's a really interesting new level 10 ability um, that's been rewritten there. So. Sure. And then finally, we have the last capstone ability, let's say, for the subclass here. It is Bewitching Magic. So... Your patron grants you the ability to weave your magic with teleportation. Immediately after you cast an enchantment or illusion spell using an action and a spell slot, you can cast Misty Step as part of the same action and without expending a spell slot. I love the flavor of this class, just jumping and teleporting around the field. Like fairy, very, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like I mean, a satyr, now, like a, a creature of the fae. Warlocks aren't the squishiest option, but they're mm -hmm. definitely not the strongest when it comes to hit points. Mm -hmm. And having this built-in ability to just get out of danger whenever you right. need it, you're almost like a rogue in some ways. Yeah, I mean, it's really powerful. The utility here and the survivability, I would say, this warlock Huge. are very, very high. So I wouldn't say it's maybe the most powerful warlock, but you can still, of course, couple this with all the other excellent invocations that Warlock innately gets. So, and this is the master of the battlefield, fluidity, very mercurial, mm -hmm. I think, Warlock. Absolutely. So that's been all the abilities of yeah, the, of, Warlock, of the Archway Patron. Correct. Do you want to go ahead and give it your My ranking? ranking? I'm going to say based off the other ones, I think this is a strong B, like a B plus maybe. But again, a huge improvement over the original version. So in some ways it's even higher than that. But I would say compared to the other new changes, I've been giving it a B plus. You're giving it a B plus? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take your rating on that one. Some would say this is the Warlock Master over here. Uh, <laughs> so B plus it is. Okay, then we are moving on now to other Warlock subclasses, which will be coming out very soon, probably tomorrow. Yes, we are bringing you a new video every day here at Green and Garb until we get through the 2024 D&D Player's Handbook front to back. So that means you're going to be getting classes, subclasses, spells, magic items, weapons, feats, everything under the sun. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Smite uh, that like, like button. Leave a comment below, depending on what your favorite Warlock class is. Do you like this Archfey Patron? Have you played it before? Does it seem more or less powerful? Let us know what you think below. We'll see you next time.